I wanted to speak to you today about the sensitive subject of sibling rivalry and uh, I wanted to encourage you very much today in order to help you to move forward in a empowered way as far as our relationships are concerned in every area of our life and often the behaviours that we will encounter from siblings and family members but also elsewhere in friendships are quite similar and um, I've called this video sibling rivalry but rivalry as I thought about this clearly becomes familiar across the board in any situation so it needn't just be from siblings from brothers or sisters it can be from friends relatives or from colleagues um, or acquaintances in any area of our life and so one of the um, keys that I wanted to highlight as far as rivalry is concerned was that often people who are in connection with us and feel that they are in competition in some way with us now we may not feel as though we are in competition with them but sometimes what can happen is that if there is jealousy involved or envy sometimes you can get rivalry and in that case if you're not aware of what is happening it can be quite confusing because you may not be the sort of person that wants to be in competition with other people but nevertheless you may find that other people even if you love them which makes it more confusing may feel the need to be in competition with you and that may have nothing to do with you or who you are it may purely be because this other person is quite competitive and they like the limelight they like the upper hand and they may like to be in control of the situation so sometimes you do see it in families where a brother or sister will want to have a control over the sibling and it could happen in a workplace situation and that can happen in an intimate partner situation which is very very confusing for the other partner because often when we enter into any relationship which is a love relationship we don't expect to find competition and rivalry it just doesn't mix with our view of love and how love should manifest and so it can be very difficult dealing with the issue of rivalry especially when rivalry actually affects your other relationships and your other areas of your life and often someone who is in competition with us and wants to undermine us will actually start to enter into other relationships and other areas of our life in order to affect that area negatively so that the other have they have the other upper hand and can maintain a degree of control as far as we are concerned or our life and so people who are in competition with us in any area may start to 
seep into other areas and relationships in our life and start to affect other people's view of us as well. As a means of winning in the game of rivalry, which if we're on the receiving end of that can be very confusing and very painful. So I wanted to raise the issue of rivalry and competition in terms of safe relationship training and in terms of our maintaining a strong sense of self when we come across these situations in our lives, whether that is in a work situation or in any area of our life. Um, the effect on us can be just as powerful. And so I wanted to mention just one key, which is maintaining a strong sense of self within ourselves and a strong sense of our own value and worth and recognising when someone else may be trying to undermine us through rivalry and through competition, whether that's done in a direct way or whether that's done through other people, it's useful to become aware of what is happening and then we can step back or we can make our own choices as far as that is concerned. So I wanted to just flag that up um, in line with the safe relationship training to say that maintaining our well-being is understanding that competition and rivalry can happen in any area of our life. And if we have it in one area, it can affect the other areas as well. So I wanted to just flag that up. And I hope that's of help to someone out there. And as always, stay safe and happy. Bye-bye.